hi guys welcome back to my channel um please do not mind my voice everybody um i am so good so my voice is a bit raspy right now um yeah guys welcome back to my channel makeup and nails by frida so for those that do not know or for those that are new i am a makeup artist and i'm also a nail technician and this wonderful lady here guys is the face of my brand so she was getting ready for a pageant a school pageant she is our um, reigning miss pk of 2022 and i was just uh, getting her ready yeah so let's get into it so what i started off with is i started uh, setting the the brows um where i first put on the wax you can draw it and yeah let's get into it i'm going to fast forward some of the the parts guys so please do not mind me there um enjoy the rest of the video so after the prepping the brows what i'm doing now is i'm just drawing in the brows to fill them in um uh, they look absolutely gorgeous i already shaped the brows guys please tell me if you want me to show you how to shape the brows um using a razor a brow razor and i'll do it for you guys so now i'm just filling in the brows with a pencil today we decided that we, that we are going to do a brown um a brown pencil so that is what i am currently busy with I hope you did not hear my stomach. <laughs> so after um, <clears throat> drawing in the brows with a pencil, I started shaping them. Um, guys, one thing about me, I shape my brows with um, foundation. I don't use concealer because concealer usually tends to be so messy and well, like it just make, makes the the brow a bit white on the edges so i use foundation and maybe that's a tip that i can give to you guys you can see that the foundation is already matching with her skin tone and it is coming out so clean so what i'm doing now i'm just making sure that it is nice and clean on the side if the brow is shaped i really uh, really really love how the the brow came out um absolutely gorgeous i don't know um comment down below if you'd like for to give me um maybe advice on maybe the brow you probably don't like the brow but i loved the results of the brows yeah As you can see, I just went in again to make sure that I clean up nicely. Uh, maybe the edges that I feel are a bit rough or maybe it's not smooth. I went in and I cleaned up a little bit. Um, yeah, that's basically what I was doing here. So after I've prepped my brows, now I've decided to start with the, um, the eye look, the eyeshadow look. And I was just putting on concealer here so that I can uh, prepare the base or base the, the, con the, the eyeshadow look. Um, we decided to do a Barbie look, a Barbie eyeshadow look because she was going to wear a... Uh, a purple dress tight fit dress so yeah
so like i said um we decided on a barbie look so here we were just uh prepping for a barbie look so he, um i was working in the pink eyeshadow first thing that i did was um just set the base with a natural tone um a color and then i started going in with my pink and blended as i went along just to get the desired look So we were basically almost done with the eye look, we were happy with the results, it gave Barbie, it gave pretty girl, we were so happy with this look guys, um, I was just, what I was doing now, I was just busy cleaning up, cleaning the rough edges, um, we were both very happy about this. Here I started going in with no primer to prep the rest of the skin so that we can start with the rest of the makeup and yeah she has beautiful skin um, yeah cleaning up a bit putting on primer and the rest of the skin that's what I was busy with here So I went in and started, and started prepping my face with foundation and this foundation was so flawless on her guys. I remember the first time I did her face, <laughs> I, I, I used a uh, foundation that is too white and then but later on I fixed it, don't worry. But this foundation, you can even see I did not even blend it in yet. That is just raw foundation on her skin but it was looking super flawless and i was happy with the results i went into the neck area uh i was basically and i was just cleaning up there i went in the neck area so that the face and the neck can match and yeah the foundation was just looking beautiful i didn't blend it yet but i was happy with the foundation look so far look at her i was telling her that it looks beautiful and she was just blushing <laughs> So as you can see there, um, after putting on the foundation, as well as now blending the foundation into the skin, guys, this is an, a very important step. Please do not miss it. It is so important, especially if you want to. Oh, look at that makeup, guys. Look at her eyes. <laughs> so um, please make sure that you always uh, blend the foundation into the skin. Otherwise, you are going to end up with smudgy looking makeup. And yeah, it just will not... Um, or limbs it won't be flawless i don't know how many times i have to emphasize blending your foundation it makes such a huge huge difference and yeah do that blend for as long as you can uh, for as long as you can uh, until you get the desired look uh, it must look good on camera it must look good in person 
India. That's just what I was doing here. Yeah? Blending, blend, blend, blend. My famous words are blend, 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 blend. So here um, I started going in with uh, the contour, so I wanted to contour her nose, gave her a sharp looking nose, I went into the nose area, so look at where I'm starting, and then I went on the side of the, of the cheeks, look at that beautiful contour. So here, um, what I was doing, I was now going in with uh, to set the face with powder. Um, guys, one thing about me, I set the face, the whole face with powder. I don't just um, set the face like makeup artists, other makeup artists that set where they concealed. I set the whole face. I don't know, it, it works very well. You don't have rough lines at all. Um, so I set the face with the banana powder and then my secret weapon guys this one i can guarantee you it works like magic i'm gonna show you my secret weapon now <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, let me give you my stay. Let's give a standing ovation to my secret weapon. It is baby powder. <laughs> Guys, I use baby powders to bake my face. And my goodness, um, the person who gave me this tip was uh, or somebody gave me this tip, guys, and it works like magic. Please use baby powder to bake the face i don't know what it does and it is soft on the skins it works well guys it bakes that face bake your face with baby powder that's my secret weapon to look at look at her face look at her face guys look at that face she looks absolutely gorgeous ah i'm obsessed So now um, we went in with our blush, like we said, we are doing a Barbie look. So I took my um, hot pink blush. She ended up looking absolutely like a dream. Just look at that. Look at how it's blending into the <laughs> blending into the into the makeup. Guys, I'm so obsessed with this look. She looks absolutely gorgeous. I uh, went in with the brush, the the with the um I don't know guys, I'm losing my train of thought now. I went in with my blush brush to just to blend it beautifully into the skin. Did that for a while look at how just look at how gorgeous that blush is just getting into the mm -mm 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 -mm. after that I went in with my highlighter just highlighting at the top of the um, of the um, blush to give it that 
beautiful definition and yeah just look at that glow guys look at that glow so i also highlighted the nose um oh surprise girl oh my baby so cute <laughs> uh, look at the oh guys look at that glow oh wow went in with the highlighter guys Uh, now I'm highlighting her nose after contouring always highlight the nose guys I don't know it just does something to the face makeup comes out looking flawless look at that eyeshadow look at that Barbie eyeshadow I can look at this video all day all day I want to see the, the final look with a when I highlighted the nose I was just trying to get the desired highlighter After that, I went in with shaping the lips. 